you for joining us tonight. Uh, I'd like to introduce myself for those of you who are not aware um, and are new fifth grade parents. My name is Nina Odatella. I am the principal of Thomas Jefferson. Joining me and my right hand men are Mr. Enoch Niamiche, the assistant principal of fifth and seventh grade this year, and Mr. Ramon Ortiz, the assistant principal overseeing sixth and eighth grade. Um, so prior to us um, asking or answering any questions that you may have, I'm sure that you have a lot. Um, I just wanted to go over some of the basic logistical information with you. So um, if you do have any questions after we go through all of the information that uh, the need to know, then feel free to pose them in the question and answer box. Um, we are going to start, stop at 8.30. Um, however, if there are any questions that are not answered, we will be sure to answer them um, either privately to that person, to uh, those of you who pose it, or we can also post some of the Q&As on our school website. Um, first, I'd like to just include some information about the instructional day. Uh, as you may be aware, the instruction come September is going to be synchronous live instruction with our teachers and students interacting virtually. Um, the instructional day will be a full school day, meaning that our fifth and sixth graders will begin school at 8.30 a.m. and will end at 3 p.m. Our seventh and eighth grade students school day ends at 3.14 p.m. Now the full day schedule will be Monday through Thursday. And on Fridays, we will be following half day sessions. Half day schedules for fifth and sixth grade students are 8.30 to 12.30. And for our seventh and eighth graders, it is 8.30 to 12.48. I'm sorry, Ms. Aratella. Our expectations of our students when we go virtual, once we start school. Um, students will be expected to be visual, have their cameras on. Yes. Uh, your your screen is frozen and the, the Are you not good? Can you issue. hear me? It's broken a little bit. Okay. Look, Ms. Odotella, if you turn off your camera and turn it back on, that should fix the issue. Okay, is that better? Yes. Okay. Um, so I hope you heard everything that I said prior to. However, well, you're, you're, you're speaking, I'm sorry. Are we okay? Uh, Ms. Odotala, can you just try to just turn off the camera and, and just speak and let's see if there are any issues there. Okay. Um, can you hear me now? Yes. Good, okay. Uh, so I'm going to, um, I'll just leave, I'll, I'll pick up where I left off. Hopefully you heard the instructional schedule. Did you hear that part clearly? No? No, it was lagging a little bit. Okay, let's try. I'm going to try something else. Bear with me. I'm going to sign on using my phone. Okay, can you hear can you hear me now? Yes, perfect. Okay, great. I'm so sorry about that. I promise you parents that the instruction will be much better than this Zoom video call. 
<laughs> we're having a few a little uh, technical difficulty here. Um, so I, I'll just go over the entire thing once again. Um, the instructional day schedule will be Monday through Thursday. We'll have a full day schedule. Students will be following their full day schedules. Our fifth and sixth graders begin the day at 8.30 a.m. and end the school day at 3 p.m. Our seventh and eighth graders start their day at 8.30 a.m. and end at 3.14 p.m. Now that full day schedule is Monday through Thursday. On Fridays, they will be following half day schedules. And so the start time is still the same for our fifth through eighth graders at 8.30 a.m. However, the um, end of the day on half days for Fridays is 12.30 for our fifth and sixth graders and 12.48 for our seventh and eighth graders. Now, once we go to the virtual academy, um, the expectations will be, we will continue to have high expectations of our students, um, but the expectations will be that our students and our teachers will be visual, their cameras will be on, our students must be punctual to their classes, and they must participate in all of their classes. Um, as mentioned previously by Dr. Irving and in the letter that I sent uh, e via email last week, the instruction will be synchronous meaning that it will be live instruction where students will be able to interact with their teachers. Uh, class schedules are available on Skyward currently. I know that um, some of you may have forgotten your login information and if that is the case, please call the school counseling office or you can email Ms. Kelly McMillan. Um, on our website, we do have the student and parent handbook available for you. On page two of the student parent handbook is a breakdown of the full day and the um, half day schedules. And so some of the times that are listed for each of those uh, classes in Skyward may not be 100% accurate. We are working on updating the times. However, we'll be going by the time schedule and the bell schedule that is in the student parent handbook. Um, as far as workspace goes, we want our students to work at, in a location in the house that is dedicated to school work. So um, please be sure that your students are working somewhere that they know that they'll have some writing space and they'll have all of their materials readily available to them whenever their teachers ask for them. Um, as far as expectations with dress, um, we know that once in the spring, uh, we were a little more lax and our students did show up on camera to class in their pajamas. Um, some of our students did leave in the middle of class and said that they, it was breakfast time. Uh, we want to be sure that our students understand that even though they are home learning virtually, the expectations are still the same as though they were reporting to school and learning in person. Um, so we, we want to encourage our students to get dressed for school, even though they're not reporting to the building, we still want them to feel like they are going to school and dress appropriately. Supply lists for each of the grade levels are available on our school website. Um, there is a tab on the left, right under the student parent handbook where um, supply lists are located under the parent information eboard. If you click on that, there is a breakdown by grade level. Uh, extracurricular activities. We do hope to offer extracurricular activities to our students for those clubs and programs that can be offered virtually. We will uh, do our best to do that. And so when clubs begin to um, initiate and, and hold meetings, we'll be sure to inform you through the email and we'll also have morning announcements for our students. They just, um, they'll hear about those announcements then. Um, we will be taking homeroom attendance every morning. Um, homeroom attendance and mindfulness was a, uh, an initiative that we had last year. We are going to continue that initiative. The homeroom period does begin at 8.30 sharp. It is 15 minutes where students will be on uh, in their homeroom Google Classroom. They'll be interacting with their teacher. Their teachers will be taking attendance. Um, that's where they will participate in the mindfulness exercise to get ready for the school day. They'll hear the morning announcements every morning and they must be present in order for the teacher to mark them 
present. If they are not online and in that Google Classroom or on the Google Meet for Homeroom, then they will be marked absent. Um, Textbook distribution. I know that uh, many of you are wondering about textbooks and how the textbooks will be distributed. Um, that information will be forthcoming, but uh, it'll be similar to the spring and to our new parents who are joining us from the elementary schools, um, similar to what we had in the spring where um, students and parents came to the school to pick up their students' belongings. We will have the same setup where um, we will have designated days by grade level for students to come in or for parents to come in and pick up the materials from the building. Um, we do have uh, parent training sessions that are going to be provided by the technology department. Um, it is called the Parent and Community Academy uh, that was mentioned on Dr. Irving's letter that was sent out on Friday. Um, Tomorrow will be the workshop for the fifth grade parents. At 5 p.m., there is a session on Google Meet, Drive, and Gmail. And at 6 p.m., there is a session to help teach you about Google Classroom, Docs, and Slides. Uh, the uh, sixth and eighth grade parents are invited to attend that same training class or session on August 27th. And the same time, five o'clock, we have uh, Google Classroom slides and docs. And at 6 p.m. are the um, is the session dedicated to Google Meet, Drive, and Gmail. So at this time, I would like to open it up to um, Mr. Niami Chair, Mr. Ortiz. Is there anything that you feel I left out that you think needs to be mentioned prior to us answering the questions? No, you, you pretty much cover a lot of bases. Okay. Okay, so we are going to go over to the questions. Uh, if there are slides, they are not visible. No, there are no slides. Uh, no, did not hear the instructional schedule. Um, the instructional schedule is on page two of the student parent handbook available on our website um, and it is broken down by period throughout the course of the day. Again, the instructional schedule when we are virtual is Monday through Thursday. We will follow a full day schedule from 8.30 to 3 o'clock for our fifth and sixth graders and to 3.14 for our seventh and eighth graders. And Fridays will be half day sessions. Again, they start at 8.30 a.m. for both, uh, for all students fifth through eighth grade. And they, um, the half day session ends at 12.30 for our fifth and sixth graders and at 12.48 for our seventh and eighth graders. Um, I believe I answered that question about picking up the books from the school. Um, supply lists appear to be based on in-school learning. Are there different lists for virtual? Uh, no, the supply list will still be the same. However, I know that our teachers, some of our teachers now that we are going virtual will also supply the students with additional materials. Um, and that will be available when students and parents are coming to the school to pick up those materials that first week of school. How and when will we receive the Google Classroom login info? Go ahead, Mr. Niamiche. Yes, yeah, so uh, the Google Classroom information uh, will be shared uh, during the first week uh, of school or when teachers are actually uh, coming in for their professional development. Now, the way it's going to work is uh, the, the teachers are going to send an invitation to students, so students don't necessarily have to check their emails. Uh, all they have to do is just log in at classroom.google.com, uh, which would then have all the classes that the teachers have invited students to. And all the students have to do is just simply click and uh, click join. Uh, once they join, they should be in the classroom. Uh, there's also an invitation for parents, which um, a lot of our teachers do. Um, and so when they invite you as a parent, just know that you're not going to see the, the same platform as students will see, you'll see assignments that are due or assignments that are turned in, uh, but there are other elements that are only meant for the students to see. Uh, but overall, uh, for the students to be able to join in the classroom, all they have to do is simply 
again, uh, join through the Google Classroom platform, which would be classroom.google.com. Uh, and it will lay out all of their classes. And all they have to do is just click join. Thank you. Um, we do have a question regarding the um, uh, this parent's child had problems with his computer. Do we have the ability to change it at THS or at the school? Um, yes, we do have the Chrome Depot throughout the summer. Anytime students had any issues with their um, with their Chromebooks, they were able to swap out the Chromebooks and get another one. Or if there was an issue with the charger. Um, we will continue to have the Chromebook open at the high school, I believe. Um, and I, I, the information about the specific hours for the Chromebook Depot will be forthcoming. I know that this week they are open only for the distribution of Chromebooks to our students that do not currently have Chromebooks. For summer assignments completed, will teachers provide specifics on how to submit? My child completed physical handouts and some electronic. Um, so how will he submit? Um, so yes, the, the um, summer assignments, they can be turned into the teachers digitally. And if they were physically completed on a handout that was printed, they can be scanned and emailed to the teacher for credit. My daughter was in the TAG program in fourth grade. How does the TAG program work for fifth graders? Um, if your child was, um, not all of our students who were in the TAG program in elementary school continue on to the TAG program in the middle school. Um, every summer the TAG team does meet to determine whether or not students should continue on in that program. However, if they are recommended by the team to continue in the TAG program as fifth graders, um, our TAG program is, it consists of um, advanced math seminar, which is AMS 5. And if your child um, was scheduled that, for that class in uh, Skyward, then they qualified for the math part of the TAG program. And for literacy, it's junior grade books. Uh, how are you addressing special education classes? Our, um, our teachers who are in-class support teachers, our replacement teachers, and our self-contained teachers are going to um, also have Google Classrooms. The inclusion teachers will work with the um, general education teachers to ensure that our students with special needs uh, IEPs are met. And um, I know that our teachers will continue as they did in the spring to hold, host um, additional support sessions for our students um, based on their needs. Um, Google Classroom uh, and Google Meets will soon have breakout session capability. And so those students will be able to meet in small group with their instructors to get the support that they need. Of course, the uh, accommodations and modifications that are outlined in a student's IEP will continue to be followed. If the student is absent, how will they be able to uh, make up for that day? Um, they will not be able to make up the day that they are absent. However, the work that they miss that day, they can absolutely make up. Um, they would just have to speak with their teachers. Assignments will continue to be posted on Google Classroom. And um, I encourage your child to reach out to their teacher to find out if there is anything else in addition to the Google Classroom assignment that they need to do. Uh, how will band work virtually? Um, so our band program in the spring did continue to meet with the band instructor. Um, they did hold Google Meets, um, they did practice. Uh, however, our band and orchestra instructors did have to be a little more creative. And so um, just to ensure that students are playing their music and their pieces and their instruments with accuracy, um, teachers will most likely ask the student to record a video of themselves playing individually. Um, 
just to self-assess how they are performing. The teacher will also provide feedback to that student. And I'm sure that they will continue to hold uh, Google Meets for students to practice as a group. Uh, can textbooks be accessed online? Yes, they are going to be accessed online by um, most of our students already have logins for their textbooks. Um, however, if they didn't last year, then they will uh, receive accounts to be able to access their online texts. How will the gym period work? Um, our physical education teachers are developing lessons where they will be able to have exercises and activities with our students live. Um, our seventh grade phys ed uh, students who are in, enrolled in physical education will actually be in health class for the first marking period. So all of the seventh graders will be enjoying health classes, but our fifth sixth and eighth grade students will be receiving live physical education instruction. Where can we find the information about tomorrow's 5 p.m. Google Meet about the virtual classroom? That is available on the district website. Um, the letter that Dr. Irving did send out on Friday was posted on the district website and the links are embedded in there. Mr. Ortiz, Mr. Niamiche, would you like to answer some of these questions? I feel like I'm monopolizing this entire town hall. I'm sorry, I'm just looking at the questions right now. Give me a moment. Okay. I'm at... Um, the email. So, so um, teachers will email um, the students their access code um, to their Google accounts. Um, and like Mr. Naimichi, uh, Naimichi said, um, it would be that first week when teachers return. So um, they'll have professional development sessions. Um, so that's the week before the first day of school and they will be reaching out to our students. Uh, on Friday, the, the sessions will also be live. It's a half day. Um, and then, um, and like Ms. Ototella said, um, we're going to follow the, the general half-day session schedule, which is in the handbook on our website. Uh, I just want to point out that the half-day session, the students do go through all of their classes and they will see each and every single one of their instructional um, teachers. The only period that is cut out of the half-day session is the lunch period. And so that period is just skipped over, but students will see all of their teachers from periods one through seven. Um, There's a question about the year why Friday is a half day. Friday is a half day uh, for teachers to go through um, professional development, uh, staff training or, or staff meetings. Uh, but as uh, we've already shared, it is, uh, the students are still going to be partaking in all of their classes, it's just the time is uh, shorter, just like a regular half day. Um, also, uh, with the distribution of Chromebooks, the Chrome Depot located at the high school will be open from Monday to Friday on the 24th through the 28th. With, um, half day, 8.30 to 11, but they'll also have a night session from 4 to 7 on Tuesday and from 4 to 7 on Thursday. And you can go either pick up a Chromebook or if you have a Chromebook that was damaged or needs to be repaired, they will easily exchange one for you at that time. Um, it is a drive up, so please stay in your vehicle if you do drive to the Chrome Depot during that time and the staff will come over to your car and um, either make the swap or just provide you with a Chromebook and the charger. Uh, there's a concern about uh, a parent not receiving emails. Uh, please visit Skyward um, and update your email. Uh, it may probably be that, uh, that your email is incorrect uh, in the Skyward program, which you have uh, access to as far as editing rights. Uh, there was a question about yearbooks from last year. 
we were very hopeful that we would be able to receive our yearbooks this summer, um, but we kept hearing back from Life Touch, the publisher of the yearbooks, that um, production was just delayed. I mean, the printing companies and production companies have um, were all affected by the closure, and so everything was delayed. The publications of yearbooks around the country were delayed and um, they shared with us that they are hoping we will receive the yearbooks in September. Um, but I haven't heard any other information about that since. If you are an eighth grade parent, I'm, I'm assuming that you are, uh, or a ninth grade parent now, um, and your child graduated from Thomas Jefferson last year. I know that you're waiting for the yearbooks. Once they do come in, we will definitely let you know that there will be a pickup day um, or possibly we may just mail out the yearbooks if it is too much of an inconvenience for um, the pickup. Also, I'd like to include as far as the Chromebooks and um, each child. So I have here a question that um, uh, this individual has two children in our district. Each child will receive their own Chromebook. And if you're having um, any issues with internet, um, actually um, receiving internet into your home for whatever reason, the district can also help you with that and you can discuss that in the Home Depot also. Will all the work be done in docs or will they need notebooks and so forth? Will the teachers be using the textbooks as a reference point as opposed to the lax approach some teachers or more freelance approach took la taken last year? Um, our teachers will be using both. Um, they will depend on the Google Suite and ask our students to use Google Docs. Um, however, we don't want our students to forget how to write using paper and pen. And so um, some of our teachers will also require our students to use notebooks and to write. And most likely uh, rough drafts will be handwritten or first drafts will be handwritten. Um, they may be screenshotted by the students and uh, emailed to the teacher. Um, as far as textbooks go, um, textbooks will be used um, regularly as reference points. Um, we are, our classes and courses are not driven by textbooks. The textbook is a resource. And so teachers do um, have a curriculum to follow and they focus on the standards that are outlined in that curriculum. And that's really what they are teaching to the textbook just serves as a resource for students and teachers. There is a uh, question. Uh, my child's schedule does not show her language and art classes or specials not sorted out yet. Uh, if you see that, uh, that your child is missing a language or a, a special, uh, please email one of us uh, and we'll, we'll sort it out. Um, someone asked about the student link that will be emailed to us. I'm assuming you mean the Google Classroom link. Um, the Google Classroom link will be um, emailed to your child and your child will receive that email to join the class. However, some of our teachers do ask the parents to um, also join the classroom as parents. And so if, that, if uh, your child's teacher is going to ask for you to join the class, then they will email you the link. Um, but not all of your child's teachers will ask um, parents to join. However, if that is not the case and you would like to join the classroom as a parent to be uh, become familiar with what the expectations and activities and assignments are that your child has in that Google Classroom, please reach out to that teacher directly via email. Um, the other statement was, am I right in understanding that every Friday will be a half day? Yes, every Friday while we are virtual will be half day sessions. Uh, the next question is, um, can you repeat how this format is expected to work? Will they be live sessions? The um, instruction come September will be synchronous instru instruction, meaning yes, the um, classes will be live. Teachers will be meeting with students on Google Meets. 
Um, however, the entire 80 minute period for our fifth and sixth graders, language arts and math uh, may require some breakout sessions. Um, students may have some asynchronous activities to complete during that period. Uh, however, the teacher will be available for those students throughout the entire period. But it, so it'll be a combination of asynchronous and synchronous, but for uh, the majority of the lesson will be synchronous live instruction. And I think I answered the next question, are the teachers going to be logged on during the entire time of the session? Yes, the teachers will be live on the Google Meet and available to interact and answer any questions that the students have. There will be a lesson that is taught live with that student, with that teacher and the, um, the students in that class. Um, again, however, I mentioned that there may be an activity where students will work independently, but uh, even if they join, um, they are no longer on the Google Meet, they can always join that Google Meet again to speak with the instructor and get that additional support as needed. Mr. Ortiz, Mr. Niamiche, would you like Mr. to? Is muted. I believe Ortiz was trying to speak. Oh, okay. I was just reading a, a question here and they're saying when the class starts, um, do they go to study from home all the time or have to go to school? They will be home. Um, we will be distance learning unto at least uh, the end of the, the first, I mean, to the end of the first quarter in which the district will uh, uh, decide how we're going to proceed further after the first quarter. So they will be home working on their Chromebooks. There's a question, um, says how can students interact with their guidance counselor or dean virtually? Um, students can always email their guidance counselor or dean, they'll always be available, um, and it's a matter of scheduling the time to do so. Um, counselor, the counselors or uh, the dean can interact virtually via Google Meet um, if that arrangement is made between the counselor and the student. The next question is, will I have to be present with my child throughout the school day? Um, we want you as parents to consider yourselves coaches. And so we don't want you to um, look over your child's shoulder the entire time. We want our students to learn independence, academic independence. And so the hope is that your child will be able to work independently, but if they need assistance, they can always turn to their teachers who will be available for them. Of course, um, you as the, the parent at home and the coach at home, uh, we just ask that you be present to assist and support your child and ensure that they are completing the activities and participating in the classes and following their schedule uh, every day. It's a question about um, Google Classroom. Um, my son is starting fifth grade at TJ from Hawthorne. So will his Google Meet Classroom automatically appear on his Chromebook? It's uh, a matter of uh, your child visiting um, the website, um, again, classroom.google.com, uh, which will show uh, your child's classes, or uh, if your child checks um, his or her email, he or she should be able to access the Google Classroom from there. And there was a question here, can, can my child use her own Chromebook? Absolutely. She would just need to start log in with her district ID. There was a question about honor roll recognition from last year, third and fourth marking period. Um, students will be recognized. Our eighth grade students who graduated recently they did receive their recognition, their certificates, their plaques and trophies. Um, but I, our students fifth through seventh grade are now sixth through eighth graders uh, will absolutely be recognized uh, once we return to school. Um, the next question parent was regarding the dance instructor having a PE certification. I'm not sure the answer to that question. I would have to look that up.
So any any um, issues with schedule? I, I, we have another question of child missing an entire elective on her fall schedule. Um, you can contact um, anyone on the administration or uh, Kelly McMillan in our um, counseling department, and we'll be sure to correct that. Uh, there's a question about AMS. How do I know if my daughter has qualified for AMS? Um, if you uh, look at your child's schedule, you should be able to see that. Um, you should be able to see if your child is enrolled in an AMS class uh, and or have received a, a letter uh, stating that your child is in AMS. Uh, my son is starting fifth grade at TJ from Hawthorne, so will his new Google Meet Classroom automatically appear on his Chromebook? Once the teachers do create their Google Classrooms, which um, some of them are in the process of creating those Google Classrooms between this week and next week, the invitation will be sent to the students, and as soon as they sign on, they will receive an email saying that they were invited to join a Google Classroom. When will the textbook and supply schedule be announced? Um, we hope to announce it at some point next week. Uh, we are moving to Teaneck from another school district. What is your process for admission registration for my incoming sixth grade daughter? please reach out to the registration office. The phone number and email address is um, there available on our district website. And the registrar for the district will be able to share the process and the details with you and what, uh, what is required to register. But welcome. Just during lunch and recess times, uh, would there be any online classrooms for students to socialize? Or is, is it that just going to be a time for them to be offline and get away from the screen? Uh, for the most part, it will be a time to unplug um, and, and get off the screen for a bit uh, because we, re we recognize that, especially the morning times, uh, for them to be engaged virtually for um, a long time. Uh, can have effects, uh, side effects on the eye. So giving your child time away from the screen, as we've said, uh, during the course of uh, their classes, they will be given a chance to interact with their classmates. Uh, teachers are going to give students a chance to speak with each other. Um, and so during uh, lunch or, or recess, it's an opportunity to uh, unplug. But if your child does feel the need to uh, reach out to a classmate to arrange uh, a time to speak virtually, uh, he or she is more than welcome to do so as well. Um, there's a question here regarding IXL. Um, will students have access to IXL app for math and language arts? Currently, the district is purchasing IXL um, app for the math, um, and I will look into the language arts. I haven't heard that they purchased that subscription also, but definitely IXL for math. Do the students have emails assigned to them prior to the now? Your son is new to the school, welcome. Um, yes, our students are all assigned email addresses along with accounts to access um, everything on from, from signing into their Chromebook to um, accessing the Google Classroom and their email. Um, if you are not aware of your child's sign, uh, login information, please reach out to the counseling office and we will be sure to provide you with that information. So fifth graders, uh, question is, so fifth graders will need a Chromebook if they do not have one. Yes, you are correct. They will need a Chromebook. And once again, if you are in need of a Chromebook, either being new to the district or need one replaced, you can report um, to the Chrome Depot at the high school. Um, Monday through Friday next week. I believe the hours were from 9 to 11, 9 to 
and then they have some evening hours on Tuesday and Thursday, and this information is on the district website. What are the plans to celebrate eighth grade students considering that this is their final year? Um, at this time, there's no um, definitive answer to how we are going to celebrate Spirit Week for our graduates. Um, we are definitely going to prepare for um, something for them since now we know that there is a possibility they may not have a dance or a field trip as um, at, at, with this health related closure. Um, so we do have to work with the PTA to determine what we can do and we will be sure to make this year memorable for our grads. Um, there's a question here about back to school night. Uh, would there be a virtual back to school night? Uh, so far, the answer is yes. Uh, inf more information will be forthcoming. As far as the, there's a question on portable Wi Fi, is the district still providing that for those in need? Um, once you arrive to the Chrome Depot, um, please. Um, ask uh, the staff member there that, or let the staff member there know that you're in need of a mobile hotspot and they'll help you with that situation. If a child has lost a Chromebook charger, are they able to get a new one? Um, yes, they may get a new one, but um, I'm not sure whether or not we may have, um, there may be a, a a fee to replace the charger. I'm not sure. You would have to speak to someone at the Chrome Depot. There's a question about, um, will students be given art materials? Um, there is a art supply list that is listed on the parent information e-board. Uh, however, if uh, for whatever reason, um, our families are not able to purchase these materials uh, due to financial hardship, please reach out to Ms. Isley, our art teacher, and we will um, certainly help out in any way that we can. Are there alternate dates for the Google product training? What if we are unable to join the sessions this week? Um, I only am aware of the training that is available this week, but I believe that technology is working on some um, uh, possibly recording those training sessions and posting them on the YouTube channel and on the district website for the parents who were unable to, to attend the sessions. Um, that is not definitive, uh, but it, that is a, a possibility that the tech department is looking into. Uh, we do only have 10 more minutes uh, remaining, so we're going to try to answer. I know there's a lot of questions remaining. Um, we're going to try to go through this as quickly as possible. When is the tentative time frame for regular classroom school? Um, Dr. Irving and the board have decided to remain virtual until the end of the first marking period. And at the end of October, early November, they will decide whether or not um, school is ready to reopen, um, but as of now, we are uh, virtual until mid-November, the first marking period. And the next question is, when do classes begin? September 8th is the first day of class for students. Could you confirm there are forms at, on the TJ website for this year that must be completed? And if so, where are they? Yes, the forms that um, we always print out and mail uh, home or send home with your child at the beginning of every school year are now digital. They are available on our school webpage under headlines where it says important forms. Um, there are three forms. One is the lunch application, which we do not have digital as of yet. Um, we're hoping to have that digitized. We're just waiting on the department, uh, the business office to provide us with that link. But the other two, um, the use of technology and the media release forms are available on the district web on our uh, school website. 
And just a reminder, the first week of school will be half days. So the first week, September 8th, Tuesday through Friday, will be half days. Uh, is the Blooms app used at TJ like at Hawthorne or something similar? No, we do not use Blooms. We do use Remind. Our teachers do create Remind um, apps. They also use Class Dojo. Some of our teachers use different applications, but as a school, we do not use Blooms. We simply um, use the School Messenger app. We send text messages and we send weekly emails to our families. Every Friday at 6 p.m., you'll receive an email from the administration. Um, will there be consistency in how homework assignments are posted? Uh, there's a homework section in Google Classroom. Uh, not all teachers used it last year. Some place homework within Google Docs in the feed, and it was very confusing. Um, so teachers are going to be uniformed in how they post assignments, which is again going to be via Google Classroom. Now the organization of individual teachers, Google Classroom is at the discretion of the teacher. So if there's any point of confusion, please reach out to your child's teacher and, and I'm sure uh, we'll be able to accommodate. Will cameras be required to be on for the duration of live teaching sessions? Yes. Um, the expectation is we want our students to have their cameras on so that teachers know that they are um, engaged and participating in the lesson. Will there be after school club activities online? Yes. Um, once we have the um, start of the school year uh, run smoothly, then we will begin looking into uh, offering clubs after school that can be offered virtually. Uh, there's a question about a child's email. Um, your child's email should be available on Skyward. So if you're uh, able to access uh, the Skyward um, platform, you should be able to also see your child's email address. Uh, generally, um, your, it should be your child's name at students.tnetschools.org. Uh, but if you are unsure about that, please feel free to reach out to your uh, child's guidance counselor. Also in Google Classroom, um, your children, especially entering from our elementary school and to our middle school, are still going to be may still be connected to their old classrooms. So please make sure you either archive those classrooms or just remove them from the child's uh, Google um, Classroom. Um, and we will hopefully the teachers will also be reminding students to do it because it can get confusing when we have all these different classrooms still active on their Google Classroom webpage. A question about classes being recorded and will we have access to the classes later? Um, some teachers may ask to record the class, the lessons and we'll post it on the Google Classroom. However, um, if teachers do decide to record classes, they will inform you as parents just to let you know that they plan on recording lessons. And um, if you are not comfortable with that, please be sure to let your child's teacher know. Um, but the lessons, more specifically in the uh, performing arts classes, I know that our teachers do um, want to record those classes so that students can review their performance and provide uh, feedback and self-assess their own performances. Uh, there's a comment here that uh, is definitely applicable uh, for all of our families. Um, Gilmore Realty is giving out school supplies. Uh, their number is 201-833-1200. Uh, or you can go online at www.realtygilmore.com slash supplies. Again, uh, their number is 201-833-1200. Or you can go to realtorgilmore.com slash supplies. When students are doing independent work, can they turn their cameras off? Yes, they may. There's various questions about scheduling. Um, our schedule is synchronous, so they will be following the same exact schedule as if they were in the school building. So there's only a three minute, um, I guess you can say, break between each class. Um, a couple questions referring to will the, will the children get a break or an eye break or a bathroom break. Um, you can always go to the bathroom, you know, 
just uh, unmute yourself and, and do what you have to do. But as far as in between each class, we're using our normal travel schedule, so they get three minutes to get to their next class, to next to the Google Meet. Recently, the district surveyed parents for daycare needs for working parents. Has there been any updates? And if um, if so, when will it be available? How would that work? Um, the update that I have for you is that the um, drop-off program will be available to um, students K through eighth grade. Um, there is going to have to be um, a cap on how many students are going to enroll in that program and it will only be available at Bryant and Whittier. Um, and that is to begin scheduled uh, September 21st. However, more information and, and details will be forthcoming from Dr. Irving. Um, we just have a lot of questions about the Google Classroom, how the invitations will be sent, and what uh, students should do from their previous classes. Um, we've already answered those questions, so um, we're just trying to move through the questions as we only have a few minutes remaining. Um, does it have to be a Chromebook or a laptop or a tablet? Um, any, any device is fine, and Google um, Classroom and the Google programs are all compatible with every, any, any device that you use. Is there a break in between Classroom, Bath and Blakes? Oh, you already answered that, Mr. Ortiz. Will there be a bus for the first week? I do not believe that there are any buses. Uh, to my knowledge, there are no buses. Um, is there ESL classes for grade five? Yes, but uh, for students who are enrolled in the course, they have not been scheduled yet. Do we print the forms and email uh, and send them via email? If so, to whom? Um, our secretarial staff is Miss um, Gulshir Khan, G Khan, or um, Miss um, Gina Geronimo. Who uh, it's G Geronimo. The um, email that I did send out did have their email addresses and their contact information. Please refer to that. Is it possible to change an elective? Um, yes, we. If you if your child is missing an elective or would like to um, switch an elective, we would like to have that done prior to the first day of school. Please contact your child's counselor and let them know what that requested change is. If the class is still open, a lot of our electives are already at capacity and closed. So there is a possibility that um, your child may not be able to switch their elective. Additionally, our lang world languages are, um, if your child is in the eighth grade, they must continue in the same course, uh, language course that they took in the seventh grade. Um, so if they studied French in the seventh grade, then they would have to continue in French in the eighth grade, and the same goes for Spanish. Um, so it's in the spring, uh, teachers were holding one-on-one -on -one sessions with students, uh, which made things a little confusing. So just to uh, quickly answer that question, again, Google uh, Meet is going to have breakout rooms uh, similar to uh, Zoom. Um, and so uh, it should eliminate such confusion. Students will spend a full school day in front of the screen. If there is homework as in the regular framework, um, there will be a situation where students will spend the whole day in front of the screen. Maybe it will be too much. Maybe homework and assignments should be part of the school day. Um, if you are concerned about your child being in front of the screen too long, um, please just let us know, shoot us an email. Um, however, as I mentioned earlier, the instruction will be both uh, live instruction, but um, it will not be for the entire 54 minute period or 80 minute period. Students will be uh, able to uh, get off of the screen and do their work independently. How will scheduling work for children that are in general ed and special ed classes? 
already done. Uh, all of our students who have um, special ed classes and general ed classes are already completed. If there's a question about your child's schedule specifically, please shoot us an email. Will there be busing to daycare? I, I don't know the answer to that question. I'm not sure. I only know about the um, information that was shared with me regarding where the location of the daycare will be and what grades. Just wanted to thank you for having this town hall and sharing all of this information. Thank you so much for joining us. How are electives scheduled? And um, we didn't get to choose those. Last spring, um, our students did have an opportunity to um, select their classes. I did send an email out on behalf of the counseling department to all of our parents and our students to select their electives. Um, if they were not chosen, then uh, your child would have a gap in their schedule and they would have to reach out to their counselor. My child has math lab. Can we request him to be, to re be removed from this class and have an elective instead? Please reach out to me directly and I will answer that question. Um, how much time is there between classes? There are about three minutes in between classes for students to get up, get a drink of water, go to the restroom, stretch, do whatever they need to do, and then they're going to get right back into it and get to class. So the passing time that they generally would use to walk from one classroom to the next uh, in between periods, that's going to be their break time. Uh, for science, how many... Um, Oh, I just saw something pop up. Uh, for science, will there be any hands-on labs? Um, I'm really not sure about that. Um, Dr. Walzer, one of our board president is on and thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Walzer. Um, I have to exit out of the screen to see the participants. I'm not sure if there are any other um, board members with us tonight. And if there are, um, Ms. Sanders is with us. Thank you, Ms. Sanders. Thank you, Dr. Walzer, for joining us. Um, we have some of our teachers with us tonight. Thank you for joining us. Ms. Christine Jimenez Johnson, our assistant superintendent, is with us tonight. Um, any other shout outs? Well, shout outs to all of you parents for joining us tonight. Thank you so much for being here. Time is now 8.30. And so um, class is dismissed. Thank you. If you have any questions that you would like to ask that we did not get a chance to answer, please send us an email. We'll be happy to answer those questions for you. But thank you again for joining thank us. Thank you. Thank you, parents. We appreciate you very much. We do. Thank you. Have a good night.